So this problem here involves the use of Snell's law. The first thing we're going to do is draw a diagram. So right here we have the cylinder with the water completely filled inside. And right here I have drawn this imaginary horizon because the question stated that when the afternoon sun reaches an angle of 28 degrees above the horizon, sunlight ceases to illuminate the bottom of the tank. So the light ray does not illuminate the bottom of the tank. So the refracted ray, so the sunlight ray that gets bent going into the water will look like this. So when it's pointing in this way, it doesn't light up the bottom of the cylinder. So this angle here is not exactly what we're interested in. It's helpful, but we need to find the angle that's from the surface normal. So we'll go ahead and add in some more detail. So this red line right here is the surface normal, which is simply a perpendicular vector to the surface. So what you'll do is this forms a right angle. So you'll do 90 minus 28 degrees so that we can find this incident ray angle of 62 degrees. Now right here, I have the different indexes of refraction. So this one up here is the index of refraction for air, which has a value of 1.000293. And then for water, it's 1.333. So we have all the information, except we don't know what this theta 2 angle is. So we'll need to go ahead and use Snell's law and figure out what that angle is. So we need to find theta 2. So we'll take the inverse sine of the first index of refraction times the sine of theta 1 divided by the second index of refraction and that'll give us theta 2 to be 41.496 degrees. Now focus your attention on this triangle that I have darkened right here. So the question is asking how deep is the tank? So that's essentially the height of the cylinder. And now that we've found theta 2, we can simply use our trigonometric properties to find the height. We can do the tangent of theta 2 is equal to the distance divided by the height. And this distance right here we're given that it has a diameter of three meters. So from this whole entire width, this distance will be three meters. So we'll go ahead and rearrange solve for H. So we'll have three divided by tangent of 41.496 and we'll get a height of 3.39 meters.